Jeff Zucker is the worldwide president of CNN, and he was recently speaking at the Society of Professional Journalists. He is, after all, a professional journalist, or at least he employs them. Uh, <laughs> they call themselves that anyway. Yeah. So they, they cover a lot of issues on CNN. One thing that they don't cover much of, and we often criticize them for that, is not enough coverage of global warming or climate change or whatever you want to term it. They don't do enough of that, and he was recently asked about that by the New York Times, and in response he said, Climate change is one of those stories that deserves more attention that we all talk about, but we haven't figured out how to engage the audience in that story in a meaningful way. When we do do those stories, there does tend to be a tremendous amount of lack of interest on the audience's part. So I guess he's off the hook. Doesn't need to cover it anymore. Yes. Doesn't bring in the ratings. Yeah, you know, you think? I, I'd like to cover World War II. People just don't want to hear about <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. I don't know what to say. It's, it's great. You know, maybe he never at any point goes, yeah, I guess we've cultivated, cultivated an audience of fucking idiots and morons <laughs> mm -hmm. who are allergic to information that is necessary. But yeah. let's go to Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't, I haven't watched his show. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe he talks about climate change. Anthony Bourdain, nice. yeah, he, so honest to God, he, he actually talks more about actual issues than they do on the net. He actually he does truly does. He actually does. So it was kind of, then. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, before I join you guys on the Zucker bandwagon and, and bash him a little bit, I will <laughs> say this, that even when we do climate change things here at mm. the Young Turks, they tend to get less views than a lot of the other stuff that we do. So there is some, uh, there's some truth mm. just in terms of numbers, the amount of people that care about that. Mm -hmm. We're not necessarily as ratings driven here mm -hmm. uh, because we have we're, we're free. So that so yeah. that that's a tepid, uh, you know, nice way to to acknowledge what he's saying. That being said, CNN is barely a news organization at this <laughs> point. They really aren't. It's 50-50 arguments on everything, including climate change. Including, when climate, they, change. including climate change when they do it. Uh, they did you know two months of plane coverage. You know we still never found the plane, by the way, but uh, which invalidates yeah. virtually everything they did, even though it was invalidating itself the entire time. And uh, and their political coverage is is horrendous. So mm -hmm. he's By not design. very good. He also ran NBC into the ground. This guy, and that's what got him a job at CNN. So you know, yeah, it's uh, it's TV 101 basically. Yeah, so he fail I, I upward, like, Peter he Principle. Fa he did fail <laughs> upward. He yeah. took over NBC Show when they had Thursday night. Uh, what was it? Must watch must, TV. Must see TV. Must see TV. Must watch TV. Whatever. And, and Rat, he ran Rat. that into the ground. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. NBC was really like at But he lowest, handled the Jay Leno then, thing well. <laughs> they, they like, like, yeah, so, you know, these guys, it's like, there's just this endless revolving door of these executives. And yeah. you fail backwards and... Yeah. Never, uh, yes, TV executives, they're just like everybody else. Some of them are really nice people. Most of them in, don't know what they're doing, like everyone else. Most people don't know what the fuck they're doing in their job, right? Yeah. And, uh, but they never get demoted. I don't ever, I've never heard of a TV executive being demoted. They right. always get, they always fail upward. Right. Yeah. You get, you bring on 10 shows that all get canceled and you still get you a promotion. Still, right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just somebody left, there's a vacancy, gotta fill Where's it. Where's that guy? Where's, Where's that, that guy? guy? He, he was horrible, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. So, uh, I'm glad that you played devil's advocate and uh, I like that Once he's being while. honest, at least in terms of the business case, because obviously it is a business. It's a very big business and that's why they do crazy things like covering the plane for two months straight. He gave some sort of BS arguments about how intriguing intriguing it was and everything, but he doesn't believe that. I doubt he was watching the coverage. It just was, for whatever reason, bringing in viewers. And you're right, probably on average our climate change stories probably do get a little bit lower views, and yet we still have millions of views that have come from climate change coverage. People care about that, and they should since it is objectively the most important issue that is going to face humanity over the next hundred years. And it doesn't and deter us from doing it. That's the important thing. Exactly. That, that's the difference in what we do here, because mm -hmm. every time we discuss what we're going to do, if there's something relevant about climate change, we do it. I've never heard anyone yeah. be like, well, it's not going to pull in the numbers yeah. that some, some the other thing is going to be. You know? yeah. well, it's a, very, it's a very sort of fatalistic argument that he makes. Like, you know, I would love to be able to do something about this, but I am only the president of oh, see, a news. massive news organization. Okay, so it doesn't bring in a lot of people right now. I find it inconceivable that the plane brought in people, but you found ways to make it more interesting with holograms and gigantic maps that you walk on. That shit works really well in Cosmos, and people are watching that when they talk about climate change. Bring on Neil deGrasse Tyson to talk about it. Bring on Bill Nye. Do some BuzzFeed quizzes and infographics or something like that. You can make, you can find ways of making it interesting. You can bring in the human element and show the people who are being affected by increasing natural disasters and things like that. You can make it interesting. You are the only one who can do that. You're the head of CNN. Right. We should fully understand that this is the head of CNN putting the nail in the coffin of CNN. You know, like we here at the Young Turks, we're, we're doing what we do. Obviously, MSNBC is doing one thing for the administration. Fox is doing the other thing for the Republicans. There's a hope, I think. Like when I watch MSNBC 
NBC, which really is only if I'm doing cardio and I'm watching 18 things at once. If I watch, MS, uh, if I watch CNN, I'm usually thinking they're, they're just doing nothing. They're just floating. They're, there's nothing treading happening water. there. And yeah, they're treading water, and that's it. And the, all he's trying to do is just throw out crap and see what sticks. And uh, th this isn't going to stick, and whatever they're going to come up with next. Mm -hmm. It's not like whatever they're talking about besides global warming is working either. Yeah. So man, yeah, they got, a, they got a mini boop from 370, but it's probably not going to last. Uh, on the, the good side, and this is in support of Jeff Zucker, he also talked about whether or not they would be covering the upcoming congressional investigation into Benghazi, or I should say the most recent investigation into Benghazi. The eighth investigation. The, the eighth, yes. Eighth time's the charm. That's what my mm -hmm. grandma always said. Uh, and he did say, we're not going to be shamed into it by others who have political beliefs that want to try to have temper tantrums to shame other news organizations into covering something. If it's of real news value, we'll cover it. And I don't know yeah, that that's always you, true. Even that sounds like bullshit, though, to me. Please. I mean, no, I mean, that's just a tough argument for him to make because right. they cover so many things that aren't news. And they spent, like, yeah, they just spent two months covering, inventing news. Mm -hmm. yeah. So... I, what he's really saying is, hey, if it gets ratings, we'll cover it. Yeah, That's they, what he's saying, right? Because climate change is news. Mm -hmm. that, that couldn't be any bigger news. They just figured out that what we've done and that the western shelf of the Antarctic is breaking off, <laughs> which means you can't ever stop it. So it started. You yeah. can't stop it no matter what no, we do. No bondo it's is going to work. Right. It's going to melt, and then that's going to mean all this rise and it's going to happen so yeah. it's really this is so yeah. that's yeah. that's news he's not covering because he hasn't figured out a way to make it interesting yeah and by the way in no defense of the Benghazi hearings whatsoever but just by them going on it is news whether you agree mm -hmm. that they should happen or not yeah. you know what I mean it if if, if a crazy branch of the Republicans are pushing this thing. Well, it is news. So you can cover is, that angle. You you're can, right. So you can cover that angle. So to say we're not going to be shamed into it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're you're showing your political bias there that's already. A so yeah, that's a great. I, that's I just, a great I just point don't like day. this guy. I don't find any of this to be honest or. or yeah. But I like where this is going because we even have more climate change news exactly. to talk about. But <laughs> we're going to make up so for we'll what it. they don't yeah, do. We'll do.